Alright, here is a tutorial on how to do ducking under punches, jumping over punches, counter attacks and critical attacks from behind. Ducking and jumping over attacks can be done by holding L1 button which is a block button and pressing right analog stick up or down. If you press down you will duck, if you press up you will jump over an attack. And when you do that, you can immediately continue with counter attack by pushing an attack button. The uses for these moves are pretty limited. From what I've seen so far, but I'm only at the beginning of the game, the only thing you can actually duck under is the swing from a mechanical enemy. I didn't even find any moves that I could jump over and use the jump counter attack but only the swings for now works as i said i'm at the beginning of the game so more uses can be probably found later on damage is not that great with with counter attack it's only a move that you can do so that you don't have to completely move out of the range of an opponent that's why it's there so you can do an addition additional attack in if you're prepared to, to risk because it's not easy to pull off and you can uh, really time it uh, wrong and then you will suffer for it. That pretty much covers the counter attacks. That's how you counter attack, that's how you duck and jump over attacks. As for the attacks from behind, they can be done by simply running to the enemy's back and then you will initiate a kick attack that will hit them in their legs and then they will fall on the ground. Now this is one opportunity that they completely wasted in the game because the attack that you're going to do when they are on their knees is nothing worthwhile. At least animation wise because the animation is the same as you do a normal attack but the damage is almost triple if I'm not mistaken. So it's definitely worth doing that. I didn't test that further, but it's at least double the normal damage. Might be triple. So it's worth doing that move when you're behind an enemy because of the damage and the damage alone. I really feel sad that they didn't implement some kind of a cool grapple move or something that could bring that additional cool factor to this move because it's always fun to go to the enemy's back and then doing critical attacks at least it was in neo and dark souls here it won't be as much fun but it's very much worthwhile and that's it lads that's how you do counter attacks and critical attacks from behind i hope i helped you out practice because practice makes perfect in this case and see you guys soon